Hi, I'm here to talk with you about placing images in your course. And note that these are images that are already on the server. We've added images in the past before we began with the ecosystem. Remember dealing with the sizing of things like images and tables. Well, that's all different and easier now that the templates are pre-formatted. In order to add images, we'll be using the Content Templates button. There's a whole separate video on content templates, by the way, so check that out. When you're in the edit mode, the content templates button is located right here in the Drupal toolbar, here below my cursor, and it provides a selection of items that can make it easier to build the pages of your course. In addition, and this is really important, these templates include all the correct coding, so you don't even have to think about what's going on behind the scenes. Anything you add with a template will be responsive, accessible, and correctly coded. So let's look at our choices for adding images. I'm going to click on the Content Templates button and scroll down to the Image Templates. Here they are. We have Image Centered, Image Left, and Image Right. The important difference among these types is that Image Centered is the template that we most often use because it's made for images that have captions and credits. Very few images in our courses are simply decorative and require no caption or credit, so this image-centered template is the one we use most often. That said, the decorative images, decorative images do appear in our courses, and when they do, they can be placed at left or right without caption and credit. Here's an example of that right here. This image here has no caption or credit. It's a decorative image, and it can sit right or left instead of center. By the way, remember that these decorative images still require alt tags. We're required to be accessible, so make sure to enter an appropriate alt tag, short and to the point. One last thing to point out is that in the edit mode, let me go back. Oh, take a look at where this appears here, this image. And then when I go to the edit mode, notice that it's all the way to the left. That's just how it works. Be aware of that. All right, let's return. Let's look at a centered image. Here's one right here. You can see that the format's a bit different. We've got the caption and credit below. So what I want to do is add another image to this page to show you the process. So what I'll do is let's go up here and enter the edit mode. And I'll put my cursor where I'd like another image to appear. Maybe we'll put one right here. Sort of right here above the reading assignment. And then I'm going to click the content templates button. And I'll choose, scroll down and choose image centered. Now you've got a little template on your page and you just need to choose an image. So right click on the line that says, where the little icon is, and choose image properties from the box that appears. And then uh, we're going to browse the server using this blue button up here in the corner. Now in the server I'm just going to choose an image and place it. So once I click that button I have access to browse the files on the server. Now there are lots of ways to organize the files on the server. You may have a folder for each lesson or a folder containing all of the course images or you may do it some other nice organized way. Here I'm going to choose an image from the images folder. Go to lesson, <laughs> let's find one. Lesson one, here's a headshot JPEG. I don't even know what this is. I'm just going to choose it. It's Vera Cole. Okay. I'm going to click on it. Then I can click Insert File next to this green check mark here. And uh, click OK down in the Image Properties box at the bottom here. And then I'll be automatically return, return to the Edit Mode screen where I can enter a caption and a credit. And let me add here that. Uh, Whomever downloaded this image for you should have the credit information stored so that it can be accessed for this purpose. 
maybe you have that information yourself or maybe it's coming from somewhere else. So I would say there's a structure, Vera Cole. Maybe maybe I took this picture. And I'll add an alt tag here. Save it. Save the page at the bottom. We'll see how Vera's picture shows up. There we go. Caption, credit, centered image, formatted correctly. No worries about sizing. That's it. All right, thanks for your time and let your learning designer know if you have questions.